Welcome to Black Fertility TV. I just had a really quick question, so if you don't like blood, you might want to leave now. Don't feel sorry. Don't feel, don't feel sorry. My loss is worth more than you. So it's been like three years since I've been going pad free, and about two years since I've actually bought a pad. And I just wanted to know what if I told you you do not need to wear a pad, you do not need to wear tampons, you do not need to wear menstrual cups, you don't need no sponges. What if I told you you didn't need any of that? If any of you can guess how I go about doing this without bleeding all over the place, definitely leave your thoughts or your suggestions, your guesses in the comments, and I'd definitely love to give you a shout out. But beyond that, what if I told you that the type of pad or tampon that you're wearing may be interfering with your fertility? Would you stop wearing pads or tampons then? So I'd love to do a longer video on this. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, check out my Instagram page at Black Fertility TV and answer my little poll here about whether you prefer to wear pads or tampons. So thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share it. I'd really love to hear your responses. And remember, make sure you're not just thinking fertility all the time, but are actually fertily thinking. Peace. Don't feel sorry. Don't feel, don't feel sorry. My